It's like we got a rainy day of trucking today. Let's see where we're going, what we've been up to. Let's get this going. Yeah. south out of Illinois last night we stayed at the rest area there in uh, uh, Lodi Illinois we did not we did not get as far as what we wanted uh, we picked up this load here in oh crap where did we pick this up at uh, hold on Just give me a minute give me a minute it's going to Waco Going to Waco. Uh, just, I was actually just watching Pale Rider. He's delivering to where I'm going. I was like, man, what's the chances? I can't remember. All right, Michigan. Dexter. Dexter, Michigan. Yeah, finally figured it out. So he, he's or he's delivering. If you've seen his video, I'm going to be there tomorrow well Thursday so maybe we'll do another video unloading in Waco <laughs> totally copy him but uh we are uh, yesterday we had pretty much a crappy day of trucking pretty much scary day crappy day but we finished the day <laughs> we're alive there was a couple seconds there where it got a little sketchy. We, uh, you know, coming out of Michigan, and I, 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 I don't know. Well, I was coming down 94, and and I thought, you know, he wanted me to go 94 all the way, you know, to 44, go down through Joplin. That was my my whole thing. It's like I wanted to go to Joplin, and I almost had a chance of making it there last night, but then everything kind of went to heck. So, you know. What I what I was gonna do was, you know, after like the Joplin thing, I was just like, you know what, that's kind of far sketch. I was like, we're not gonna be able to do that, and then, and and it was a little bit out of the route. So, but you know, at the time I had plenty of time because we don't have to deliver this till tomorrow, twelve thirty. So I had plenty of time to get there. So going to Joplin, eh, you know, that was just kind of a plus. So you know. We got stuck in a little bit of traffic and you know I was like you know what <coughs> maybe the Joplin thing isn't you know we'll, we'll just we'll just head down US 69 Indiana you know towards Fort Wayne through Indianapolis and go go 65 that way and, and go around <coughs> then then eventually hit up on 55 and you, you know what I mean so we're coming down 94 and I, I made I made the choice that, you know, we're just gonna stay on 94. Bad mistake, bad mistake. We're cruising on 94 and it was, you know, it was, it, it wasn't snow, uh, some parts were snow, but there was snow everywhere, but the roads were fine. And the farther I got, like I was like 94, like closer, like on the, coming down underneath, like around Lake Michigan. And uh, once I got into that part where I was like by Lake Michigan, that's when it got sketchy. You know, temperature temperature dropped quick. And, you know, when I left Michigan, well, when I was left my pickup, it was still like in the high 30s or so. The temperature had went up a little bit. And when I got closer to Lake Michigan, it, it dropped. And it was like in the 20s again. Then I, you know, started ice started building up on the antennas, on the mirror, and on my wipers. And uh, yeah, there was a couple accidents, you know, a couple trucks, cars in the ditch and stuff. And so, you know, we came up on another, there was this tanker that passed me, you know, day cab tanker, and he was booking it, man. And we're going down the road, and you could see everyone like start slowing down. They're putting their four ways on. So I was like, you know, so we start, you know, just slowing it down, take it easy. 
and I got down to about 25 miles an hour and I was just driving along you know we're slowing down I'm in the left lane because <clears throat> at the time before everything we all started slowing down I was in the process of passing this little four-wheeler and he was doing like like 45 miles an hour so I was on the process of getting around them then once everyone started slowing down I was like well I just stayed in the left lane so when we got closer I was on the phone with my wife and I was you know about 20 20 25 miles an hour we were slowing down all of a sudden I'm like I felt like a poop you know I was like I, it felt like someone I don't want to say rear-ended me but it sounded like someone bumped me you know I was like oh damn I was like someone just rear-ended me and I I look in my mirror and uh, I don't see the trailer I look in the other mirror and I see the trailer it's it's like starting to sway into the right lane oh man here we go and I was like I didn't you know that's the first time this has ever happened to me and I'm like well here we go I was like I'm about to be one of those guys <clears throat> and I just you know no gas no brake and I remember that I didn't know if it was true or not but if that should happen you know you know tap your trailer brake and it'll come back in line and I put my hand on it and I, and I wasn't a hundred percent sure so I didn't and I just kind of just kept coasting along and I could see it kind of just swaying out a little bit and then it, it came back it just it just it must have caught traction it, it just came right back in line I'm like whoa man so we got just a little ways down the road I mean it wasn't even like a quarter of a mile and I started to get back to the right lane because the accident was on the left lane and when I moved over to the right lane my trailer <laughs> stayed in the left lane I was like oh here we go again and by this time I'm doing like like 10 miles an hour you know you ever seen that video it's an older video of the it was FedEx you know pulling doubles and his first little trailer is fine but the second trailer was like like this for like a mile you know just like he he was doing like 10 miles an hour and that was me man I it, I didn't go like a mile but it was like it felt like it but you know yeah I got to like 10 miles an hour five miles an hour and finally it, it came back in line so after that this boy was like turtle speed man and we got then we ended up getting stuck on the highway they shut it down for about an hour hour and a half and that just killed my day after that and then it was just like this you know once we finally got out of Michigan it just rained and that was it so that's what I've been dealing with <laughs> and the, the frigid temperatures between Ohio and Michigan the past couple days oh man I'm loving this. I'm loving this rain. No, no white stuff on the ground. I, I'll, I'll drive in this rain and all day long, and I ain't gonna complain a bit, you know. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get down to Prescott, Arkansas tonight. It's gonna be a good haul. Right now we got 580 miles to Prescott, so the TA. Yep, that's what's been going on with me. Yeah, we had some uh, pretty big days. Uh, man, it, it just that snow up there, man, just was non-stop, man. It, it was just crazy. Oh, speaking of FedEx. <laughs> yeah, we had some negative temperatures for a couple days. You know, last night, we stayed at the little rest area there in Lodi off of 57 and I came in and I still had like by about four and a half hours of drive time I'm done 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 I just I pulled up in there and I told myself I was like I just wanted to get out of that cold temperature give the truck a break man he, he, this truck's been idling for like like the past four or five days you know it's it's been like in the you know you know single digits and negatives and you know the one day the first day it, we were in the negative you know I left out of wherever I was at there in, in Ohio Michigan and uh, 
I started driving and it was just like, you know, it popped the check engine light. And I was like, oh, here we go, you know. <clears throat> and I got down the street and, uh, you know, no faults. Like I stopped, you know, I checked the thing. No faults, no warnings, check engine lights on. I was like, huh, oh well. So, you know, I, I turned the truck off and went inside to the rest area, you know, did my deal, came back out. And, I cleaned the windows and everything, and because you know the ice and the snow and the salt and all that, you know what I mean. And uh, got back down the road and nothing. So I don't know. Maybe something between the ice and snow and the salt and who knows that may have did something. But I'm liking this rain, man. Nature's car wash, man. This truck was bad, man. Bad. Most embarrassing to drive but we're good now but uh like i said let's get on down the road let's see if we can make the prescott arkansas for tonight all right we are in crap i don't even remember where we're at hold on here it says it's west memphis west memphis arkansas for the ta not the Petro, but the TA, but I know it's not West Memphis. Hold on here. I know some of you guys are all already like, ah! <laughs> no, not Prescott. That's where we're on the way. Where am I? Here we go. Uh, West Memphis. Oh, man. What's the address? That's not it. Oh, man. You gonna make me look it up. L? Elrod? L? Ah, crap, I can't remember. I just had it in my head, too. Earl. Earl. Thank you. Thank you. Earl, Arkansas. Oh, man. We, uh, just finished our 30-minute break. We're going to get out of here. Man, we did good, man. We, uh... Where are we at here? Where are we at? Logs. And we did 437 miles. Whew. Yeah! Drive time, 6 hours and 45 minutes. Good stuff. So we still got 4 hours and 14 minutes to drive. 210 miles to Prescott, so... I think we're good. Well, well, <laughs> we should be good. Let's we'll see if we can try to get out of here. Try to avoid the uh, FedEx. Oh, I think I'm going up. Oh, I gotta go this way. Just remembered. exits over here only been here like one other time I think it's around on the other side of the building if I'm right oh there you go big old KW for sale for sale by owner It's all reserve parking. No. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Here we go.
Yeah, I was figuring I was going to be shut down by 6 o'clock so I could still make it to Waco in time. I think we're going to be pretty much right on there. Come on, get up. There we go. West. That's us. shot then man we're good <clears throat> whoops there goes a the Stanley Coffee abuse, it's empty. <laughs> we just got just this thing right here. This will get us through the day. Two hundred and five miles to Prescott. Finally, looks like we finally drove out of the rain. Windy, getting a little bit of wind right here. I don't know what's the weather say. The old weather. The truck says 36. The weather says 34. Wind 10 degrees or 10 degrees, 10 miles an hour. It's pushing us, man. Pushing us. Luckily for a light load, I'm not burning that much fuel, so all good. That's all we got to check up for right now. Pretty quiet day besides the rain. And hopefully we're out of the rain now, so. Well, I was saying, looking at the weather, come on, get back to it, get back to it, get back to it. Look at that. Ah, it's all moving east. We're going west. We should be all right. Let's get on down to Prescott and finish this day. Have ourselves a good day. Good day. What's up everybody? We're just coming coming up to Prescott. I'm sitting here watching uh, Asian My Show talking about U-turns and man. I, I remember I had this sketchy U-turn one time. I was in Tennessee. And I had like a it was an early morning delivery and they said that I could stay there overnight. And I got there late, man. It was like 10:30 at night. And uh I, I came up to the place and it was, you know, like on the GPS says, you know, like turn left, it, the, your place, your, your destination's on the left. And there's like a median there and you couldn't even get over. 
so I had to, you know, I was like, well, I guess I have to go up until I can find somewhere to turn around and stuff. And I stopped, and, and you know, I probably went like a mile up the road and still didn't find anywhere to turn, you know. Finally, I just pulled off on the side of the road, and I came up to a, you know, a stoplight. Oh, this my exit, 44. And uh, I remember, man, it was, there was, it was late at night. No, there was no traffic. And it was like a four-way stop, and <clears throat> I was able to, you know, swing super wide. And even when I swing wide and went to turn, I still had to like stop, back up, forward, back up. You know what I mean? That was pretty sketchy. And I made it, and just went back in, and, and I parked at the customer for the night. But man, that was pretty crazy there, man. It was just, I, I thought for sure it was like there's going to be a freaking cop hanging out in the bushes just ready to freaking pounce on me man <laughs> just want to know if you guys didn't had any sketchy sketchy u-turns that you have tried to pull off or or didn't work you know let me know down below pretty good stuff i like to know i know provost probably hit us some sketchy u-turns hanging out in jersey <laughs> well there probably isn't nowhere to u-turn in jersey actually Prescott, Arkansas, TA. I don't know where this guy is at. He's in the wrong. Oh, there goes the Stanley again. Come on, baby. I always like how people park right here on the side. I just like to point at them when I drive by them, stare at them. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> See, I can understand someone like this dude parking over here. I could totally understand that. Oh, Calark? Pale Rider? Is that Pale Rider? Nah, that's not the other rider. Another good one. Old Prime trailer, Vast Express, parking right against the building. Oh, big bump. Last time I parked way down there. And the building's way over here. <laughs> so this time we're going to loop around. Come on, PTL. Get a move on, brother. Some funky parking. Do we fight for this one right here? Do we? Should we? Eh, got plenty of time. I'm not really in the mood for fighting. probably a reason why all these parking spots are taken. It's like primo backing right here, man. That's all right. Like I said, I'm not in no rush to find a parking spot. We're good. Where's PTL going, man? Oh, here we 
go. Live backing right here. Just, let's uh, let's give him a uh, let's grade him on his backing. Well, for starters, he's taking too long. That's one point. Plenty of room. He used all his room. That's good. Use all the room you got, man. Does he get it in first shot? No. One pull up. Wow. Come on. Does he take one more pull up? What do you think? doesn't take a pull up oh he's he's got oh oh is he gonna pull up no oh, oh, I think he's got it I was gonna say you got her you got her you got her oh oh, oh. I don't think he's 100% sure all right he's good uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't think he's. I don't think he's done. I'll give him a 8.5 on that one. Oh, I just seen him. He's back. He's pulling up. Oh, that's an 8.0. Just took five points away. <laughs> I just found me a pull through spot. through spot right next to Schneider all right come on good to go Good deal. All right. Just checking out everything here. At the end of the day. Not a bad day of driving, man. 645 miles. Hammer down. Hammer down tonight. Just checking everything out. I think we're good. Everything's looking good. Everything's still on. Oh, oh, I think I'm. Oh man, I gotta move over. I'll just move up a little bit. Just in case that one guy wants to come in and park behind me, so. Alright, we're looking good out here. Alright, we're done. Appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, we will catch you guys down the road.